everybody welcome to my first slime video and this is one of the first videos I've made in a real long time for YouTube for my other channel but you guys don't need to see that one because you know I was awkward on there and I'm probably gonna be awkward here so have fun watching me for your viewing and whatever I don't know what I was gonna say pleasure yeah. I'm gonna try not be as annoying with my voice or anything, but today I'm going to show you how to make clear slime, and I can actually do that because I got, because I got, because I got clear glue yesterday. So let's get on to the video. Okay, so the thing you'll be needing is a mixing material. I like using this for a bowl or something to mix it in. Food coloring, this is optional. Some clear glue and some activator. And I'm gonna be using borax and I will show you how to make it. Okay, so first you need one teaspoon of borax and one cup of water. It can be warm or cold. Most people like warm because it disintegrates into it faster. But I like cold water better because then you can just dump it into your glue bottle and not worry about it being too hot. So I'm going to mix it and we'll be right back. Okay, so you need to put your um, solution in something into a container or two. And I'm going to use glue bottles because nobody's obviously going to drink glue. And the box is clear. So just in case I wrote, I just finished it. Don't worry, I usually use like... A sharpie or something but I'm too lazy to get it right now because it's upstairs so I'm gonna pour it in the glue bottles and we'll be right back so as you can see the borax solution is completely clear so it looks just like water so it's very dangerous to drink or in or um eat borax or anything or have it go into your body your system because it's like bad for you so you want to make sure that you're very safe with this and that you label everything that you have borax in. Okay, so now you're going to add in your clear glue. I'm only going to use a bit right now because I only have this one bottle and I really like to save my clear glue because it's really useful for holding in like foam beads and like vase filler beads, you know? So it's really clear right now and you can add food coloring if you want or you can add pigments and now I'm going to add some water but you don't want to add too much because too much water will make it into a jiggly slime so I like just pouring in a bit of it just to make it so it's stretchier and it's harder for it to be um, like hard. So obviously you can't see what I'm doing like at all because it's pretty much just clear. But just know that at the end of when you make it, it'll be like opaque or have a bunch of bubbles in it so it'll look white-ish. So now I'm just gonna add the clear, it, the slime activator into it. And you can see it forming in there. You just wanna keep mixing it because if you stop, it might like harden up a piece of the slime a bit that you don't want to harden. So what you gotta do is you just gotta add in the slime activator a bit at a time into the slime. Don't like add the glue into the borax. That is a big no-no. It will harden your glue immediately and it will make it super hard, unstretchy, and terrible. So all you gotta do is just add in the borax to your, your glue so it'll form. So as you can see, a bunch of bubbles are getting in it now and it's looking more opaque. That's regular. All you gotta do to fix that in the end is to put it in a container and leave it by itself for a couple of days and it'll get clear and it'll be super pretty. But I already have a clear sign that I made before and I put in eyeshadow, like old eyeshadow that we never use. So it looks so pretty and metallic. So I'll show you guys that after 
I finished making this slime and I show you. Okay, so you'll know the slime is ready once it starts sticking to itself and it starts to clean up the bowl. Now, I know it looks like it's a white slime right now, but it, it is actually the clear slime that I was just making. It's just that there is like a million bubbles in there. Okay, probably not a million, but there's like a lot. And they're super tiny, and I did a lot of mixing. So obviously there's, it's gonna be like, there's gonna be a lot of bubbles. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of activator so I can just knead it right now. But as you can see, it's really nice texture right now. So what you gotta do now is you just gotta keep kneading it and adding activator as you like so it can get to a texture you like. And so, um, I will be giving you guys an update on how it turns out once the slime has cleared. Cause I just wanna get this video up there. So, yeah, there's a fly right there. So all you gotta do is you gotta keep kneading. And if your slime is hard or something, don't worry about it too much. Cause when you put it into your container and leave it there, it'll get softer. Cause I do have two clear slimes actually that I've made. And both of them I did add something cause I mean, come on, it's clear slime. You can't just leave it clear. Well, I mean, I can't resist adding stuff to it. I don't know what my problem is. I tried so hard to keep it like that, but I couldn't wait but this one i will keep it clear for you guys okay so as you can see it's not very stretchy right now and it rips but it'll be fine because once you just need the borax in there it'll get much better and it'll be so much fun to play with because today i went to like the beach and stuff and i went to a dance class and my chinese class and I brought the slime that I made with me everywhere. And I played with it and it was so much fun. I could not put it down, literally. I love that slime so much and I only made it yesterday. It's so pretty, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so as you can see, this slime is a really nice texture now. It's not sticking to me, it's soft, it's stretchy. And it's really nice but it's also really bubbly and not really clear. So, if you have seen those videos where it's like instant clear slime, don't do it. I mean, if you want, you can do it, but I advise you not to do it because I tried one of those before. And well, let's just say that my slime turned completely hard after I followed their like instructions and I wasted glue. I was so angry. So what they have you do is they just have you put a bunch of activator into like a bowl and then you just put your glue into it. And I did that and when I took it out, it was hard. Like you could not even stretch it or anything. Like it just broke when you touched it. So I'm gonna put this slime into a container and I'll show you guys my other clear slimes that I So made. I advise you guys to put it in like a clear container so when it becomes clear you can see it. And I'm just gonna put it in this container and you just leave it for a couple of days and it'll turn out clear but you cannot touch so it at the all. The first um, clear slime that I had made before is this one. It's a glitter bomb slime and I had cut up like this wrapping paper thingy and I used clear slime so you could really see it. And it's so much fun to play with. This slime has literally been in its container for like a month or something. Cause I made this a really long time ago, but it's still really good. And at first it was really, really hard. So yeah, this slime was a success. I love this one so much. Like at the time we used to didn't play with it, but that was cause it was like hard. But after a couple of days, it turns into a really good texture. So clear slime kind of like is kind of scary for me because in the beginning when it's hard, 
I'm like, oh no, it's bad, and so I give up and I throw it away. But then it turns out that if you get about this one, it actually turns out okay. Now the other one that I made yesterday is this one. And this is the one where I use eyeshadow and I thought it turned out so pretty. It's like a rose gold kind of color. And I wanna put it on my slime Instagram, and I'm going to. But I don't know what I should call it. Cause a bunch of people have made this kind of color of a slime, I know that. But like, they all call it rose gold slime, and I kind of want mine to be a um, unique kind of name or something. So if you guys could comment down in the comment box below, tell me any name suggestions you have for this slime. Oh, and by the way, my Instagram is slimy.sparkles1129. I tried to keep this one clear, but you know, I couldn't do it. I couldn't wait that long, so I just added eyeshadow that I found from my mom's room. That's really old, so like, don't hate on me, because I did not waste it, because it was practically wasting itself, because we weren't using it or anything. So yeah, that's, that's the whole video that I have for you guys. Oh, and I brought this to the beach, so there's like some sand in it. I don't even know how, I was like protecting it from the wind today, but Sand manages to get in everything, unfortunately. But I just love it so much. But if you guys can come up with some names for me, that'd be super helpful. And I want to say thank you. Okay, I'm sorry if my voice is really weird right now. I don't know. I sound very weird. La, la, la. Okay. That's the end of the video, guys. Okay, so I hope you guys liked the video, and I hope my voice wasn't too awkward for you guys, or that it didn't annoy you, didn't annoy you too much. And I'm going to be doing a slime collection very soon because I have like a mountain of slime, and I had a lot more, but I did like a slime smoothie kind of thing, and that's what this. And this giant thing are, these are like my slime smoothies that I made. They both turned out blue, but they're like different shades of blue. I don't know why it never turns out pink. But, trust me, I'm gonna have a pretty big slime collection for you guys. Yeah, that's my slime um, lab place, my kitchen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Please subscribe to me, it really helped me. Um, it wouldn't really help me with anything, but it made me very happy, so yeah, and make sure you like this video. Hope it helped you. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to show you guys one thing, just to prove that this is actually my clear slime. There, you happy? It's actually a clear slime, okay? I didn't lie to you guys. Just wanted to clarify. Yeah, this isn't gonna be a very quick transformation of a clear slime because this is such a good texture. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna wanna play with this forever because I'm always like, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll leave it tomorrow. I won't touch it after that. Nope, nope, I need, I need to learn self-control. And what go, you didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs>